No timeline is soon enough for the families of two Canadians detained in Beijing. Armed with the fine print from the Extradition Act, they want the government to exercise its power in the case of Meng Wanzhou as a legal trade-off with China. Joyce Napier explains. Angry words from Beijing today lashing out at Canada and the U.S. The foreign affairs spokesperson calling the arrest of Huawei executive Meng Wanzhou under a U.S. extradition request political and arbitrary and an abuse of power. The families of Michael Kovrig and Michael Spavor imprisoned in China as believed retaliation for Meng's arrest have remained out of the limelight until now. Kovrig's wife said she spoke to him once over the phone in his 18 months of detention. He still sounded like Michael. He um, had his sense of humor. He, um, his voice cracked a couple of times, but otherwise he sounded strong and um, mentally very sharp. Najibullah said the Canadian government has the legal authority to release Meng, who is under house arrest in Vancouver. And that could lead the way to the possible release of her husband and Michael Spavor. She said she sent legal opinions to the justice minister and hasn't heard back. We can stop this extradition process if we decide that that is in the national interests of Canada and that would serve the interests of Canadian citizens, will save the lives of Canadian citizens. Canada's Extradition Act confirms the justice minister may at any time withdraw the authority to proceed and if the minister does so, the court shall discharge the person. I don't express nor would I express an opinion as to whether they ought to exercise it or whether they should withdraw. Uh, that's a question that's political in nature. Perhaps burnt by the SNC-Lavalin scandal, the Trudeau government has repeatedly said it won't intervene in this judicial process and has refused to debate Canada's options, choosing to let the extradition case run its course and not cave to Chinese pressure. I don't see how we can concede by sending Ms. Meng back because we will, have, we will effectively have said, OK, we'll do what you say, you've been bullying us. Meng's extradition process could take years and while Canada is seeking the help of allies to pressure China, Spavor and Kovrig have been charged with espionage and will now face China's justice system. Lisa? All right, Joyce Napier in Ottawa tonight.